Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a Kim Kardashian inspired makeup tutorial. I was really inspired by this picture that I saw of her on Pinterest and then I wore it to work and my friends at work were telling me to recreate it and do a tutorial on it so here I am doing a tutorial. I'm first going to prime my lids with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot and then I'm going over it with my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette with that white creamy shade and then just setting my um, concealer with it or my primer with it and then I'm going in with those two colors I believe it's semi sweet and I forgot the other color I think it's called caramel or something and I'm using that as my transition shade and I'm blending it back and forth but I'm also blending it um, and building up the color at the same time as I'm blending it out so I keep going back in with it then I'm going to be taking that deeper dark brown color and that color is actually called semi-sweet and the other two colors are called milk chocolate and salted car caramel that I used in my crease but now I'm deepening it up with that darker semi-sweet color and I'm just building this up back and forth and then I took a smaller blending brush just to blend it a little bit and get more precisely into the crease. This is the Estee Lauder 25 um, crease brush and I'm just building that up as well and then I decided to take my finger um, and not a brush because I like how this shade goes on better with my finger it just really melts in the product um, this color is called creme brulee in the Too Faced original chocolate bar palette then going back in with that semi sweet dark chocolate color I'm going back in with the Estee Lauder brush just to blend out the edges of the lid color because I really wanted it to be seamless and very blended because that's what Kim Kardashian had in her look so I'll, that's what I'm doing right here and then I decided to take the white chocolate color and use that for my brow bone on a big fluffy um, small tapered flat brush I guess and then for lashes I decided to use the Ardell double up lashes these are the 203's I've been obsessed with these lashes and I actually have never done a look with them like a tutorial um, and I thought that this was a perfect look to do um, and use them for because in Kim Kardashian's makeup look that she had that I was inspired by this look uh, She had really big long lashes, and I thought it was just perfect um, For primers I'm using the Too Faced primed and poreless and the Rimmel fix and perfect and then for foundation I'm using the double wear foundation from Estee Lauder and then the makeup forever uh, Matte velvet plus I really love these together because it just keeps me matte all day, and I never get oily for concealer, I'm using the same concealer that I use in every single tutorial, and I'm pr pretty sure you guys are getting pretty tired of me using this, but I just cannot stop using this concealer. I use it every single day, and I just can't get enough of this concealer. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, and then I'm going back over it to set it with the um, Airspun Cody, Cody Airspun Powder, I believe it's called. You can get it at Walmart, super cheap, and it lasts for a long, long time, but I like setting my whole face with that and then set my under eyes with that, but I like using my Beauty Blender Wet because it just melts in the product, and it gives actually a more um, coverage and it looks really really flawless on the skin and then I'm going in with my Too Faced contour kit um, by Too Faced and I'm taking that medium cocoa color and I'm just warming up my face with this but I'm also using this brush to contour my cheeks because since this is a Kim Kardashian inspired look I really wanted to do a look um, using contour but extra because Kim Kardashian is known for her contour and I just really wanted it to stand out in this look. So I'm going back in with that medium or dark cocoa color on a small definer brush and I'm just basically lining out and carving out my cheekbones um, because I wanted it to be really dramatic because that's what Kim Kardashian is known for. And then I'm going back in with that highlighter color and I'm just kind of like carving out my cheeks with my beauty blender. I've been doing this recently and it actually... I actually like how it looks um, because it just shows your contour more and you're going to see in a second when the whole look is all done you're going to be able to see that my contour stands out more. It just kind of cleans it up and gives it a more clean contour line. For blush I'm taking Milani's um, Romantic Rose Blush and I actually got this I believe like two months ago and I recently started using it and I'm obsessed I use it every single day because it is such a pretty blush kind of reminds me of benefits Rockator blush but it's just super super matte and I like the way it looks with this highlighter this is the Too Faced candlelight glow highlighter and I like swirling those two 
colors together and then just highlighting my cheekbones with this. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw that I recently got this and ever since I got it, I've been obsessing over it and I cannot do my makeup without it because it just looks so natural but you can see it and you could see it on my skin tone which is very rare for highlighters because they always just always never show up because I'm just so pale I guess but as you guys can see, you can actually see the highlighter. I'm going to be going back to the eyes and I'm going to take that semi-sweet dark color and a small eyeliner brush. I believe this is an e.l.f. eyeliner brush but I really like using this to define my lower lashes. I like this brush because it just gets right in there where your lashes grow and then I just like to really smoke it out and I'm using, I think I used um, salted caramel or I might have used milk chocolate and salted caramel, one or the other, either or, as long as you use a lighter color to really smoke out and define that lower lash line it's gonna look beautiful um, I'm taking the Milani lash discovery mini lash mascara for my bottom and then I'm using my favorite L'Oreal telescopic and carbon black for the top of my lashes I really like how the mini one for the bottom lashes makes your eyelashes look so good well the bottom lashes um, it makes them look really long and you could like actually see them and it just opens up your eyes so much which is what Kim Kardashian is really known for her lashes so I I really wanted to make this look um, with the lashes stand out more. For the lip liner, I'm taking the Lancome color in the color roulette um, and I'm using this to line my lips and then I'm going in with the Smashbox Firecracker Lip lacquer and I recently wore this at work one day because I wanted to wear red lipstick and I decided to put this one on and I was obsessed and I thought it just looked so perfect and so perfect for this look that I wanted to recreate for you guys. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And let me know your thoughts on what you thought about this tutorial because I was really nervous to recreate this look. But I'm so happy of how it came out and I hope you guys really enjoyed. Um, don't forget to follow me on all my social media and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Uh, 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 uh,